looking at my latest completed piece that's been going from white quite a while. So this is from Royal Diamond Painting. Geisha, she's a 50 by 135 round. I'll try and remember to pop the links up um, in the information for all the other works that I've done with her. But I love it. Look at the detail in like a parasail and um, you can see it with her hair, but also the sheer um, fabric. She's wearing, I love the butterfly and the detail on the bottom of her dress. So that has come up absolutely stunning. I love her. She looks beautiful and dainty and yeah, she's pretty. Okay. Um, Stay tuned. So normally I have the diamond painting laying down, but hopefully that video was enough to show you what she looks like. She is beautiful. I might actually do a little bit more filming of her where I'm moving around with it. Um, yeah. Anyway, drills, leftover drills. I had an abundance of leftover drills. So remembering that this had 60 colours, <laughs> which filled in every one of my bottles and static I had a lot of static okay let's see if we can those lights are just too bright aren't they but there's a lot of static um, that I yeah I, I struggle with static but I mean I have my own way of dealing with things but you can see in the bag there just the static and how it sits but not a single shortage. My biggest colour obviously the 310, so I plenty of that. So yeah, really it's a quick little video to say this is what's happened. Um, D kit um, is going to be easy because all I'm going to do, hang on, D kitting. That's something I haven't done for a while. When I de-kit rounds, okay, when I de-kit rounds, I have started to actually keep track of whether I've got the colour or not. So, if I turn that this way, um, oh, I've definitely got 154, 157 I don't have. So that's, this is just the process that I will go through, 159 I have, 160 I have. 161, 224, just the ticks. I've got ticks on there, so you probably can't see those. So I'm just going to work my way through these to see whether I need to save any.
Okay, so I have de-kitted. That's what you call an easy way to de-kit. I now only save drills if I don't have them because they are my just if, just if, just if, just in case, just in case, or my whoops. That way I've got, I've got a little bit of a colour if I need it. Um, it's been a long time since I've been shortchanged any, any drills. What I have done is I've just put all my drills into the one container. And you can actually see the different layers of colour. Um, but you know that's that's a, that's an inch deep basically. Um, but yeah, that is de-kitted, ready to go. This is now ready for another diamond painting to be kitted up, which means another one for me to rotate through. So gems, hopefully you enjoyed looking at Geisha. She, um, I love her. She was she's absolutely beautiful, and um, yeah. So give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Let me know what do you think of her. Um, Royal Diamond Painting. I did purchase two from them. This one was the round. I did do a square. Um, both the squares and the rounds were good. I did find out that the square that I did was actually a copyrighted image. So there's a breach of copyright there. But we know what the people that create these in China are like. They, they disregard copyright laws. But um, in that being said, if you're going to purchase from Royal Diamond Painting because they have had at least one image for me, because I've seen one, I've got one image that's been copyrighted, I will now do a reverse search on any diamond painting I look at through this company. I will do a reverse search to see if I can find if there's an owner of the image before I order it. But there we go, Gems. I will say thank you for watching and um, thumbs up, thumbs down, uh, <laughs> comments below. And uh, if you're new to my channel or you've just been here a few times, hit the subscribe button so that then you uh, can get notified, uh, so you know when I've done an upload and uh, the bell so you're notified actually when I do do an upload. And Gems, I will say on that note, bye for now.